Great evening to each and every one of you. Lakeisha McKnight is here. Welcome to the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast. Again, this is a media outlet, a podcast connected to a nonprofit based in Chesapeake, Virginia, here in the United States of America. And the name of the nonprofit is, legally the name is... The Kingdom Expansion Enterprises Incorporated, uh, but we do business as Women of Elevation Career Services International. So welcome to this podcast. Now remember, the mission of the podcast is the same as the nonprofit, and what we do is empower women with the tools to be able to create, relate, and elevate. Those are our three core areas of focus creating, helping you to create products and services so that you can really establish a strong entrepreneurial career for yourself, for those of you entrepreneurially driven, right? We help you to have healthy, healthy and sound personal and professional relationships. And then lastly, we help prepare women to elevate into their new and new seasons of increase so that you can live the lifestyles that you've always desired. And so those are our three core areas. And we serve women, it may be women who are single, single with children, women who have experienced uh, abuse, whether presently or in their past, and then those women who have unfulfilled career goals. So if you fit into those categories, we serve you. And we invite you to share this podcast, information about the nonprofit with other women that you know. Now, we do serve women specifically in Virginia, but through our other subdivisions of the company, we also touch the lives of other women outside of Virginia. And that is, of course, through the podcast. And we also have what we call the Revitalize (laughs) Revitalize Women's Movement. Okay, and this is where we're touching women. We're moving the mission of the nonprofit outside of Virginia through this subdivision and bringing life to women around the world. And so it allows us to do that through that subdivision, revitalize women's movement. Okay. And so what I'm going to do right now is share on the social media platforms and let people that are connected to us know uh, that we're live because we're here. We're live Tuesdays and Wednesdays at eight o'clock PM Eastern standard time. And normally these episodes last between five and 10 minutes long. So let's go ahead. I'm going to share on my profile first, and then I'm going to share in a group. And then I'm going to share on the podcast's fan page. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So uh, join me now as I am live talking to women about low self-worth and its impact okay on their ability to okay here we go Okay, so right now I am about to post on my timeline because I know there are some people connected to me on my timeline who would love to hear this message. And so now I'm going to go ahead and share inside of our community group. We have a community group on Facebook. And so I invite you to search for us. It's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash women of elevation. So feel free to look for us on there. You can also go into the search area on Facebook and look up Women of Elevation and look for the group and request to join the group and we will let you in, okay? There's no special rules to to joining the group at this particular time. It may change in the near future, but as of right now, you are invited to request to join the group and at that point, we will let you in. And so the last place where I'm going to share is I am going to share on the fan page, because we, as a po- the podcast itself, it does have a fan page, so we are going to share there. Okay. As, and I'm going to share it in third person on the fan page. Okay. Okay, here we go. Boom. 
So we are sharing. There we go. So again, thank you so much, everyone. It's about 8.05 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Wednesday, October 4th, 2017. Uh, and our subtopic, you may see it in the, the title of this episode. We're talking about how, how low self-esteem impacts uh, elevation for women. That's what we're doing because we're focusing on elevation during these last four months of the year. Okay, September, October, November, December. We're focusing in on elevation, preparing you to elevate. But during the month of October, we're focusing specifically on self-worth. We talked about thinking during the month of September. But now that we've helped you to get your mind correct and begin to think bigger, you also have to look at where your self-esteem is because it's closely connected to your heart and to your mind. And see, these areas are critical Okay, it guides your actions. And so once we can bring healing or be a vehicle for healing in these areas, then you'll be better prepared to go forward and make a bigger difference in the world and truly carry out the lifestyle that you desired. And so, of course, I have my little notes here. We're going to be talking a little bit about um, some causes. What does low self-esteem look like? Because it's important for you to see and understand what this looks like, low self-esteem. So let's talk about that first and foremost. And then we're going to talk about what this looks like. You know, what does someone with low self-esteem look like? Okay. And you'll probably, we're going to, we're going to really go into symptoms of low self-esteem. That's really what we're going to look at. Okay. And so what, what are, what does low self-esteem, um, what is low self-esteem? This is where you have low regard for yourself really low, really negative. Okay. You really don't have a high outlook, a high positive opinion about yourself. And some for these people, you know, there are certain, certain actions that that low people with low self-esteem engage in. And when you have low self-regard, low, uh, low, very low opinion of yourself, it manifests itself in, in a certain way and you can see it within people's actions. You can see it within people's actions. And so I'm going to talk about that right now. People's actions. Here we go. Okay, so you might often see people with low self, low self-esteem or low self-worth. They may just kind of withdraw themselves socially. So they may just be, some people call it homebodies, where they don't really socialize with many people. You know, do you know women like that who, you know, they just stay to themselves? Are you like that? Do you stay to yourself a lot of the time? You know, where people are asking you to go out, come out with me, go have fun. And you're like, no, I'm just going to stay home. No. Okay. So social withdrawal. And then also there's anxiety and emotional turmoil. All right. This is a trait, a characteristic of people with low self-esteem or low self-worth. A third characteristic is the lack of social skills and self-confidence. All right. Depression and or like those bouts or those moments of sadness. Another trait would be eating disorder. So sometimes when people, you know, they either don't eat as much as they should or they overeat. These are people who may have low self-worth. How about the inability to accept or accept compliments where they just kind of like run away from people giving them compliments and speaking highly of them? How about accentuating the negative? It's like you're just kind of drowning in the negative. You, you make the negative supersized. It's like you're constantly complaining. And then this last characteristic here of people with low self-worth is self-neglect. This is where you don't care about how you look. Your kind of hair could be looking any type of way. Your clothes can be just mangled. Everything just mangled, matted, just not caring about one's outward appearance at all. Okay, at all. And so these are characteristics or traits. This is what low self-worth or some people would say low self-esteem looks like. And so when you have this low self-esteem and you have this low self-worth, it really, truly impacts your ability to elevate. You can't move because you're stuck. You're stuck. People with low self-esteem, you're kind of stuck. You're kind of like complacent. 
You don't really care about the world around you because you don't care about yourself. And that's what people with low self-worth to. We got to break the low self-worth. And if you're suffering from that, it needs to be broken because there's so much in you that needs to be pulled out. And for those of you listening in and you got and, and you don't really think highly of yourself, it's, it's just a mindset. It's a thought in your mind that's trying to get you to think, you know, that, hey, why should you do this? Why should you try to make yourself better? But the truth is, here's the truth. You are beautiful. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You have purpose locked inside of you that needs to be unlocked, revealed, and needs to bust out with the doors wide open. You deserve so much better, right? There's so much value in you that you can pour into the lives of other women or the lives of youth or the lives of other men. Don't let those negative thoughts consume you. Don't let the naysayers, don't let the statements of those who may have reared you, don't let them boggle you down and tie you down because sometimes, just sometimes, when you were growing up, depending on your environment, depending on your household, you might have been told that you're not going to be anything and that you're never going to amount into anything or that you were stupid or that you're, you're worth nothing and that you'll never be nothing. That couldn't be more far from the truth than anything else because you are made to be great, to be amazing in the world today. And we cast those thoughts aside in Jesus name. You are made with greatness inside of you and it needs to be pulled out. You are great. You are awesome. You are a kind person. You're going to make a difference. You're making a difference now because you're listening in. And I appreciate you and I thank you so much for being connected right here to the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast. We're here to bring you life. And I want you to share with other women that you know, it's time to live. It's time for you to elevate. In order for you to elevate, we got to get rid of the low self-worth and increase it and make it great. So I want to encourage you to stick around. Remember, we're here on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Always remember you can visit the website www.womenofelevation.com to learn more about the podcast, learn more about what we have going on. That's right. Nominations have begun. If you want to nominate someone to be a triumphant woman because our project, the third project, is closely tied to a celebration called the Triumphant Woman Celebration and Conference. And this is something we're having annually. This is our second year that we're going to have it. This celebration is going to take place on December 2nd. Uh, before the celebration, though, in November, we're going to have a telesummit. And this is a virtual or computer slash telephone event. So if you want to register for it, you'll be able to do so. OK, so stay tuned. We're going to let you know more and more about how to register. Registration is going to be opening really, really soon. OK, so stay tuned for that. But I appreciate you. I thank you so much for being connected here. Come back and see us and actually hear from us on Tuesday of next week. We thank you so much. And we have some great information to share with you next week and an announcement, of course, because we may be in a whole nother continent uh, for these podcasts on the following week. Not next week, but the following week. We may actually be in Africa. So thank you so much. Be blessed. And we'll speak with you on next week.